Hey Cancer, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your mid-month energy check for April 2021. So this is Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we're checking in with you Cancer about your energy. What's going on with you? Mid-month, we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anybody else. And what is going on with you, Cancer? What's happening? What is the energy around you in present time for mid-month? Hmm. This one wants to come out first. So I'm going to put that one there. Okay, Cancer. Okay, you have a ton of reversals, Cancer, which is interesting. And of course, not always a bad thing, but let's get through this. Let's look at what's going on here. So the first thing that I'm noticing, literally, is that this is your advice. It's the sun reversed. This is your big picture. It's the moon. So just these two in proximity to each other and how they're talking back and forth to each other. This to me is talking about something that's very deep, very deep, deep, super deep emotion. And I feel like you've been asking for some illumination and this is your advice telling you to like give it some time. We don't want everything to be illuminated at once. There's something that needs to happen before everything can be illuminated. And we'll get some clarification on this in a little bit here, but there's some kind of, oh, it's almost like even when I see this moon, I just want you to go to sleep. I just want you to go to sleep and I want you to dream cancer. But hidden things, hidden things coming to light in your dreamscape, I feel like that's happening. And your advice is like, illumination's gonna happen. Give it some time. And I want to know what this illumination is about, but we are going to uh, clarify that in just a minute. Okay, coming from this place of the seven of wands reversed, here's some, oh, it feels like, uh, I'm hearing self-defeating, whoever that is for. There's some kind of self-defeating stuff going on, like, maybe talking smack to yourself, but doing things that are just not good for you, but it's coming from this place. So moving on and moving forward away from the self-defeating behavior. And this is also having to defend yourself because other people have been talking smack or defending yourself because other people are creating a space that's not safe for you. And this is coming from that place, Cancer. So then moving up into the heart of the situation, we're talking about some unfinished business around, here's the five of wands reverse. There's unfinished business around something that I feel like required some effort, but there wasn't any effort put in. So there's some kind of unfinished business around effort not being put into something, the ending of something, unfinished business or lack of effort left something unfinished. That's what it seems like. Okay, your angels and guides are talking about, no, this is your higher self. Your higher self is talking about not getting the, the healing energy that you need, Cancer. There's some kind of healing energy that still wants to come up and out. And here's that 10 of swords reversed. So your angels and guides are talking about you pulling all of these swords out of your back pretty much by yourself and needing some more healing around this and i really feel like this illumination aspect of it it's like illumination is going to come more healing needs to happen before illumination can really pick up cancer i hate to tell you to be patient but there's something i'm feeling about divine timing divine timing 
Okay. There's some resistance that you're having to some kind of partnership. And I will say this, Cancer, I feel like you've been told something recently that you need to release out of your consciousness. Um, I feel like this person was trying to help you, but I don't feel like they did. I feel like this kind of triggered some trauma and it's really not helpful. It's unnecessary. And this is needing to release something that was told to you recently. They, I know they, I feel like they were trying to help, but they didn't. Happening now and into the near future, you've got this King of Wands reversed. This King of Wands can um, be kind of a dick. So when he's reversed, he's really thinking about himself and he's saying things that could be hurtful, but also saying things just to get his way. So keep that in mind, Cancer. Then in the past, we're going to look at past, present, future. In the past, we are having strength happening here. So it's like you have had to pull yourself up and pull on your strength, recognize how strong you are, which is always such a weird thing to say when people say, oh my gosh, you're so strong. It's like, yeah, a lot of things have to happen to get to that place. So it's nice to be recognized. And at the same time, I'm not really sure if that's a compliment. I guess it just is what it is. But this is you pulling on that strength. And then moving into present time, Cancer, this is the King of Pentacles reversed, which is pretty much narcissistic energy and the Six of Cups reversed. So in present time, there's some of this energy of understanding someone's completely emotionally not available because psychologically they cannot be. And this is the end of some kind of, or the releasing of some kind of past life relationship with someone who has this type of energy. Okay, we are definitely gonna get some clarifiers. All of that, which seems pretty harsh, Cancer, to say this, here's your outcome and here's your wish card. So even though all this is going on, Focus and concentrate on some wishes because your wishes are going to come into fruition. Let's definitely get some clarification. And I'm going to use this stuff for clarifying. I want to look at the moon, the big picture, Cancer. And we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So there's some deep emotions. Ah. I'm really feeling like this is mother energy and this mother energy. It's like, however your relationship was with your mother, when you were growing up, it's like, however she was unstable or wherever she was ungrounded, this is the type of energy that you're looking at. Uh, I want to say for somebody, they were dealing with someone who was very demanding and what's coming up now with this moon card is how that's affecting you in your life in the present, how that demanding energy was affecting you in the present, or how that, I want to say there's somebody uncentered energy too, ungrounded, uncentered, unfocused. There's some self-worth, but also some like self-healing that this person was unable to do for themselves like they were never taught how to do that and they never figured out how to do that and that affected you and that is part of what's coming up with this moon card lots of mother energy here and it's the unstable part of the mother energy in your life the part that wasn't grounded that's coming up okay so I want to look at the seven of wands. Okay, two cards have come out. We're talking about generosity and reciprocity and charity. And we're also talking about <laughs> not taking it, not taking what you're being offered. 
somebody's offering you some charity and you're not taking it or somebody's offering you some of their energy or some of their time and you're like I don't think so this is coming from that place and this is having to it's like somebody's talking down to you and you're not having it but coming to that place somebody's offering you some advice or like it's almost even um it's condescending cancer coming from a place where somebody offered you some condescending thoughts and you're like, yeah, you're full of it. You're full of it. And you know it. <laughs> okay. So you're coming from that place and let's clarify this unfinished business here where effort should have been put in that wasn't put in to this closing this ending and what do we have here right here's the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles this is a very slow moving process cancer so this non-effort you know i don't want to say it like this process is going to I feel like this is a, oh, this is a three month process. It's like there's some progress that's being made here. And I also wanna say, I'm, I'm hearing self survival. So I wanna say this is one of those things where it's like a resolution comes from within. This is also like getting help from people. There are people who uh, wanna help you, but this is moving through this process slowly, getting grounded, really recognizing, this is being very rational, really recognizing what the truth is here, what, uh, what's in front of you. It's like looking at the actual facts, just facts, man. Looking at the actual truth. This is kind of like recognizing this thing for what it is like seeing actions for what they are. It's like taking someone at their word, believing what someone says, even though you know it's kind of like not true, but it's like looking at actions, looking at words and straight up recognizing what that is. What's interesting about that too, is that we've got this, this narcissistic energy here, this gaslighting type energy. And so, I feel like this is a process, Cancer, in unweaving that, getting straight with it, recognizing all of those, all those stories or all those, all that gaslighting. It's like taking some time to just look at what that is for what it is not making excuses for it like oh it could have been this it could have been that like taking the self-doubt out of it just looking at it for what it is it kind of feels like it adds up like it you'll have lots of you'll have a list of things that you can look at really clearly and see that they're all connected it's like connecting the dots here and this king of wands reversed get some clarification on this happening now and into the near future there's somebody yeah that's it's like yeah this is just a straight up lie there's there's some lie that's happening it's happened oh okay i have two one other card that's wanting to come out too somebody's wanting to start fresh start new give somebody some kind of offer of foundation I want to move on emotionally. I want to move on. Like I kind of want to close the door. I want to, you know, close up those loose ends, but they're coming from a place where they're not being honest. So somebody wants to reach out and talk to you, but not be honest. And they're coming at you with, I want to um, tie up loose ends, but why are they really wanting to contact you? 
because they love you and they see a future with you. This is the married king, that's why. They're coming at you in a strange way though, Cancer, because it's not with clarity and it's not with honesty. Oops, that was some selenite that just fell on the floor. Yep, selenite is transmutative and it's like they, they kicked that energy off the table. They're coming at you with these feelings that are real but they're coming at you without the truth. Well, let's look at your advice. We've got the sun reversed. And with that moon card, Cancer, we were talking about just giving it some time. And if everything, I say this a lot, but if we released everything all at once, we would just leave our bodies. We would have nothing to do here. We're here to process. And so, wanting everything to be illuminated all at once is not really going to be helpful for you. It's almost like the, the sun shines so bright that you can't see. But if you give it some time, it'll all be illuminated and you'll be able to see everything you need to be need to see at the right time. So you can put it together, just put the dots together just the way you need to. But let's get some clarification on this sun. Right. This is like, Take some time to celebrate what's going on with you. Take some time to socialize. I feel like you're actually going to get some information and some clarity just from other people and just being around other people. It's like your guides and angels talk to you through other people's conversations, that kind of thing. You're going to, something's going to come together for you in that way. You don't even necessarily have to be talking about whatever it is that you're wanting illumination about, but you're going to hear it. I feel like it's Audi their audience. Okay, and let's get a little clarification about your higher self talking to you about this healing that wants to happen. Your angels and guides are talking about pulling all these swords out of you and moving into that process. Oop. So let's, yeah, this is talking about moving on, moving forward, taking a leap of faith that moving on and moving forward is the right thing. I'm gonna pull another clarifier for that. Yeah, um, Cancer, here we have this magician reversed. There's some manipulation happening here. It could be self-induced and the reason I say that is because we've got this Eight of Swords here and the release, let this go. What needs to happen is releasing this. This is the one where it's like you've talked to someone who I think was trying to help you, but they said some things that actually, um, they're not really true. They don't help. It's like there's some manipulation happening here or this person told you this thing and it was actually uh, part of their story, but not yours but somehow whatever it is that you're going through, they're identifying with it. And so that's their truth, but this is creating mental manipulation for you. This isn't helping you. So you're gonna to have to use your intuition to discern what you're hearing and what is correct for you and what is not correct for you. So keep that in mind, Cancer. And yeah, this collaboration here, that's what this, um, I have resistance to this in that position. So let me just put one more card out for that. It's like somebody you've collaborated with or somebody you've partnered with to just get information or advice it hasn't, and they're not being malicious. This is more something that makes you really sad. It's more something that puts you into a lot of grief. So whatever that is, and I, I actually even feel like it has something to do with this mother energy, whatever was said about some kind of mother wound healing, it just needs to be taken with a grain of salt. And I'll just say that, I'll leave that there. So let's look at past, present and future, Cancer. Looking at the strength in the past. Yeah, you know, when I'm looking at that strength card 
And here's the two of cups coming in for that to clarify that. It really feels like you put a lot of patience and time and energy into some kind of commitment. You put a lot of patience and kindness and energy into this and kind of feels like you were rewarded with some shit hey energy. You know what this really looks like. Here's some narcissistic energy and here's the six of cups reverse. This is, you know, releasing of the past. It looks like somebody was discarded in the formula of the narcissistic cycle. So let's just get a little bit of clarification on that. And we've got the star and we've got the knight of wands. So we've got the star card down here, this healing card. And now we've got the star card for your present time. And it does, it feels like this is about idealizing that that big feeling of idealizing that big feeling of everything being perfect and beautiful and then energy just being somebody's gone taken out interesting too with all of this effort that was not put in things being left undone and then you having to piece together the truth. So Cancer, let's look at your outcome because your outcome with all of this deep, yeah, well, I mean, the big picture was the moon. So you're not messing around this mid month Cancer. You're like really digging deep and looking into some serious emotional stuff. But all of that culminates into having some wishes coming true. Wow. And these wishes are coming true very specifically because there wasn't a leveling up of commitment. And it looks like a relationship. These wishes are coming true because that relationship didn't continue. So I want to get some more clarification on that cancer. This is kind of like, talk about dodging a bullet. It's like that actually, even though this is bringing up so many things, it feels like this relationship is actually bringing up mother wounds. But you are gaining so much. That's exactly what's going on. You're gaining so much clarity with this mother stuff that happened. There's a lot of mother wound healing happening right now. Cancer mid-month. And this is actually coming up because this relationship unfolded in this way. And this is exactly what you needed to have happen. You needed to have this come up so you could look at that clearly, very clearly. Get like any kind of confusion that has happened. Talk about illumination. That is coming. It's almost like this could be super... Um, I don't want to see traumatizing like you're going to be re-traumatized. I think that actually your higher self and your guides are keeping you from being re-traumatized, but that's why they're making things move slowly because there is a lot of information that's coming out that's bringing a ton of clarity and it's, talk about cognitive dissonance. This is like everything happening too fast would pretty much throw you out of your seniority space it would be quite a doozy. Okay, I had a card fall on the floor, so I'm going to grab it. Let's see. Well, what is it? Yeah. Wow, right? So here's the Queen of Cups reversed. It's like if this information came out any faster, you would be a complete mess. So this is actually working in your favor. 
This is a wish card. This is something that your higher self is wishing for you to move past and heal from and gain lots of clarity about. Okay, Cancer, we're gonna go into this portion where we're going to like ask three questions. I'm gonna get yes or no's. I'm asking the angel oracle. So I'll ask questions one, two, and three, or you ask the question and I'll answer them with the angel oracle and we'll do a clarification too. So have your first question ready. You can pause this if you need to. And I'm pulling out the first card. So I'm going to say that that first question is yes. Your angel oracle is saying forgiveness is needed. And I'm going to clarify that angel oracle, that first question for you. Forgiveness is needed because there was karmic injustice, but there is a yes there. And here we are for question number two. And we have big happy changes. And I also feel like that is a yes. I'm getting some clarification on that question for you, Cancer. Here is the Empress. Big happy changes. Recognizing your Empress self, Cancer. All the things that you can manifest just by exuding your natural energy, your natural life force. And here is your next question, your next card, question number three. Reconsider, I'm gonna say that's a no and O. Oh. Reconsider, think about that again. Let's get some clarification on that. And Cancer, we have the Seven of Swords, which is really interesting because here we have Reconsider, and this is completely about Sevens, reevaluation. This is also about some sneaky monkey business. Sneaky monkey business, betrayal, somebody doing something in order to get what it is that they want, and they are not considering anyone else's feelings at all. So there's a clarification for that. Cancer, thank you for being with me. Let me know how this resonates. I hope you have a good rest of the month and I'll be back later in the month. Talk to you soon.